Emmanuel, what is violence and anger? The voices of fear. Two of the many voices of fear. And beneath fear, there is always the voice of love. The voice of love that wasn't heard. The voice of love that does not dare speak again in its own tenor, in its own vocabulary, in its own sweetness. Violence and anger are the defenses of a wounded child that say, you did not hear me, you will not honor me, and my heart is broken. And because your world has given more permission to violence and anger than it has to love, consider that. Because violence and anger are more socially acceptable than love, this is the language that is spoken. Because fear has been given more credence than faith, then fear is heard. Something to be considerate of when someone speaks to you in anger. Look beneath. Let your hearts hear what is really being said. Do not let your fear honor that fear, and so a useless, senseless dialogue exists. Go beneath. Ask yourself, where is the broken heart? Why can it not speak? What have I, in my humanness, presented that allows only anger? And where am I, since everyone is a mirror for someone else, where am I afraid to speak my love? And where do I use anger as the acceptable vocabulary of self-representation? As long as there is a breath within you that says there must be another way, and you will explore the other way. In the name of love, absolutely in the name of love. Oh, perhaps also in the name of curiosity a little bit. After all, life is an adventure, but in the name of love. Can love resolve this conflict? When love is there, there is no conflict. There are only clear decisions made with the love of self, the primary consideration, and this is as it must be. Until you can speak self-love, not self-defense, not arrogance, but self-caring, until you can honor self to that point, then there is always the confusion that can create hurt. But the moment that you can say, this is who I am, this is what I respect, and this is what I need, without any need for defense, you will be amazed and delighted how quickly all things fall into place. The voice of loving truth carries with it a most remarkable power. It brings all else into bold relief. When the light of truth enters, all distortion is cast upon the wall in its vast grotesqueness of shadow, and one simply perceives it. No words need to be spoken beyond those of self-representation, for everyone without exception is able to hear truth. <laughs>